Hello ladies and welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. It is Friday and it is a lovely day. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about ways that you can be a more feminine lady. Now, you might be asking yourself, what does it really mean to be feminine? And feminine simply means that you are a woman who is courteous, a woman who is nice, a woman that is nurturing, one who is gentle, and also a woman who is soft with her words. We were designed as women to be feminine and that essentially is what attracts the male species. So in this video, I'm going to be giving you seven ways to be a more feminine lady. So without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. Now, before we dive into this video, I want to share what I'm wearing today. So let's dive right in. So my outfit for today is this beautiful black vintage linen dress by designer Rebecca Taylor. I found this dress when I went to a vintage shop here in Atlanta and I fell in love with it. Look at the corset in the front of this dress. It is built into the dress and I just think this dress is so feminine and gorgeous. And I paired it with all of my pearl pieces from Missima and Monica Venator. But this is the type of black dress that I would wear in the summertime because it is not hot. It is 100% linen and it just feels beautiful on the bodice. But this is also a great date night dress. And I paired it with these absolute fabulous sling bags that I'm going to show you here in just a moment. But just get a good look at the silhouette on this dress, ladies. How feminine, sophisticated, elegant. This is just a beautiful dress. And now I think these shoes deserve their own moment. These shoes are from Ferragamo, and of course that is an Italian brand, but when I saw them in the vintage store, I absolutely fell in love with them. Look at the gold detailing on the front of the shoe, and you can tell that they're handmade because the Italians always do the nailing at the bottom when they're securing the sole to the leather. But look at how beautifully made this shoe is, ladies. And the leather is absolutely 100% beautiful. But the shoes are also very comfortable and stylish. And I think they pair really well with this dress. So if you're looking for some really good high quality pieces, ladies, that will last a very long time, please do not forget vintage shops because some of these pieces are very expensive, but when you're buying them pre-loved, you can get them at a third of the price. Now, this is simply my fragrance of the day from Clean Beauty, and I'll talk about this brand later in another video, but I absolutely love this fragrance. And now for the bag I'm going to carry today, I wasn't really sure about this one. I wanted to give it a pop of color, but I didn't think this bag really went with this particular dress, so I'm going to switch it up here in just a moment. So I decided to pick up my black structured handbag from Radley London. And I've had this particular bag for about four years, I believe now, but I like this one. You, you ladies let me know in the comments section below 
which bag do you think looks more suitable with this dress? But I love the black one. Yeah, I really love the black one with this dress. I think that little gold detailing around the handbag also matches with my gold jewelry. Absolutely beautiful. And now finish the outfit off with a red lip. Okay, my darlings, and welcome back. So before I decided to do this video, I was listening to this interview of a lady, and I believe her name was Ayanda Bazant, but I wanted to just share a little excerpt of that interview with you. So let's roll the clip of this interview. Okay, I, I hear you articulating, Ayanla, this masculine uh, energy traits, um, the competitiveness, uh, the assertiveness. Tell me what, how you would frame feminine aggressiveness. traits. Aggressive. Okay. Uh, grace. Aggressive. Yeah, aggressive, not assertive. It's okay for a woman to be assertive. Uh, grace, mm. first of all. I think we've lost our grace. We, we move in such a harsh and hard way. Grace, compassion, um, nurturing, nourishing, mm. um, elegance. How about majesty? How about divinity? How about holiness? This is not a language you hear coming out of most women's mouths, but they'll talk about being a boss, being a diva, being, you know, in charge. And some of us are either not seated in our throne as queens or we're in the throne and the crown is crooked. So this is what prompted me to talk about femininity. So let's get into my seven ways that you can be a more feminine lady. Tip number one to becoming a more feminine lady is simply to control your temper. Ladies, don't be triggered by everything and everyone that you don't like or agree with. Feminine women are often very mild-tempered and less aggressive than women that are functioning in their masculine energy. When you learn how to control your temper and how to react to other people when there is a disagreement involved. This not only shows that you are a classy and elegant woman, but it also shows that you are functioning within your feminine energy. And remember ladies, we were designed to function the majority of the time within our feminine energy. Now, I understand that all of us have a little bit of masculine energy within us, but as a woman who is elegant, we want to operate primarily out of our feminine side. And not only is that more attractive to our male counterparts, but it also shows that you are a woman of high value. So tip number one to becoming a more feminine lady is simply to control your temper. Tip number two is to speak softly. Speaking softly when you are talking to another person is a genuine trait of a woman who has high feminine energy. When you speak softly when you are trying to get your point across to another person, not only will they understand you a lot better, but you will appear to them more nurturing, more caring. So we need to be more soft when we are speaking to others. And not only will this allow us to be heard a lot easier, but again, it says a lot about who we are as a person. And remember ladies, becoming more feminine is also a part of being elegant. And all elegant women know how to speak in a tone where they will be heard more effectively. Now, if you are a woman that is loud and obnoxious, and we've all been around those type of people before, and these are women that are typically functioning within their masculine energy. They are overtaking the room. They are the loudest person in the room. And this is not a trait of a woman who is feminine and elegant. 
A woman who is operating in her feminine energy would always speak softly. She would never overtake the room and be the loudest person. And when you are the loudest person in the room, this makes you seem more aggressive. And this, ladies, is not attractive, at least not to a masculine man. So we need to learn how to speak softly. Speaking softly, speaking well, and being articulate can actually help you to get your point across a lot easier than yelling or speaking in a louder tone. So my tip number two is simply to begin to speak softly. Tip number three to become a more feminine lady is to learn to love yourself. Take time for yourself, pamper yourself, enjoy being around yourself, and never ever speak negative about yourself. Now, sometimes when you meet a person, you can tell when they don't love themselves. They're always talking negative about themselves, that they don't qualify for this, or that they'll never succeed at doing something else. But these are people that not only have low self-esteem, but these are people that just don't love themselves. Remember ladies, we were wonderfully made and we can achieve what we set out to do if we put our mind to it. So we need to always love ourselves. We need to pamper ourselves. We need to make sure that we are speaking positive over ourselves. Because when you learn to love yourself, you will know how to love other people. And as a woman, we were designed to be loving, to be nurturing, to be caring, especially those of us who are moms. So we have to learn to love ourselves. And when you love yourself, other people begin to pick up that you are a person in turn that can love on them. So loving yourself is a wonderful way to be a more feminine lady. Tip number four is to dress more elegantly. Now, I want to hear from you ladies in the comments down below, how many of you feel more feminine when you put on a pair of heels, a little black dress, and maybe some lipstick? How many of you feel more feminine when you dress up? So let me know in the comments down below, what piece of clothing do you wear when you feel more feminine? Even if you put on a pair of blue jeans and a good pair of heels, and then spritz on a little bit of perfume, you are going to look and smell more feminine. It's going to do it for you, I promise. Tip number five is to pay attention to your posture. Now, as I was talking to my husband last night, I asked him what makes him look at me, of course, not another woman, but what makes him think that a woman is more feminine? And he came up with posture. And he said that a woman that has a really good posture is more attractive, how she holds her body, and as opposed to a woman that is more slumped over, and looks like that she's tired and like she's worried and that she's kind of gave up on herself. So as a woman who is elegant, we want to make sure that we are paying attention to our posture. And I also, ladies, did a video on elegant posture and I will link it in the description box down below this video. But posture is just one of those things that makes us look and feel more feminine. Have you ladies ever noticed when these supermodels are posing in certain clothing, how they hold their bodies? Also, if you look at some of the feminine icons like Marilyn Monroe, you have Diana Ross, you've got all these women that just exhibited so much femininity. So feminine posture is having good posture. So we should always pay attention to how we are walking across the room. For example, are you stomping your feet? Are you walking with your hands swinging back and forth? This is never a trait of a feminine lady 
We want to pay attention to those ways that we are exhibiting more masculine energy. When we sit, are your legs open or closed? So right now, as you ladies can see, I am sitting, but I've got one leg crossed over the other. And this is not only for protection of areas that I do not want seen by other people, but it also makes me look more feminine. And as you can see, when you sit up straight and you hold your body in the right way, it also gives you a more beautiful silhouette when you are sitting. So we want to make sure that we're paying attention to how we not only walk, whether or not we're stomping our feet and how we're holding our arms or whether we're swinging our arms, but we also want to pay attention to how we are sitting because this is an easy way for someone else to tell whether or not you are feminine or masculine. And as an elegant woman, we want to always operate within our feminine energy. Tip number six to becoming a more feminine lady is simply to stop being so defensive. Now, I don't know about you ladies, but I remember when I was with my therapist one time when he told me to stop defending myself so much, to really just try to listen what the other person is saying. And when we go straight into defending ourselves, not only does that say that you don't want to hear what the other person is saying, but it also says that you are not willing to improve or work on yourself. So when you are being defensive with another person, it comes across as being harsh, as being a person who is hard-hearted and abrasive. And have you ladies ever been around anyone who is just hardened within their soul or there is just something there that they just appear very abrasive. They appear like you can't get next to them. So when we tap into our feminine energy, people are going to feel it and they are going to know that it's okay to approach you because you are not showing up with the masculine energy. You're not showing up as a person who says, I am hardened and you are not allowed to approach me. So you want to make sure that you are not being too defensive. And as Joanna Bazant said in the beginning of the video, it is okay to be assertive, but not aggressive. So to become a more feminine lady, we want to always use our feminine energy when it comes to resolving disagreements. And now tip number seven is to be more graceful. Now you ladies know that this channel is about achieving elegance and grace. And by the way, if you are just landing on my channel for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe to this channel, especially if you're interested in leveling up and becoming more elegant and more graceful. And now let's get back into my tip number seven. So what is grace? Grace is the attractive manner of doing things in such a flow so that it doesn't feel forced or pushy. Having and giving grace is how we speak to others, how we come across to other people. Have you ladies ever been around another woman that just seems so graceful? When she speaks, everyone listens and they want to hear more but she is not one of those women that people leave the room just saying, oh, this woman is just too much. I am ready to get out of here. So speaking to others in a way that doesn't sound pushy or forceful is a definite sign that you are functioning within your feminine energy. So let's pretend that you are sitting at a cafe and you are having a cup of tea and a gentleman walks up to your table and he says, hello ma'am, how are you doing? And a very feminine woman who is functioning within her feminine energy would simply say to him, I am doing lovely and how are you doing today? Now this is a way that makes you appear more approachable. Now the opposite of that 
it's just saying I'm I'm doing good and uh, you know I really don't have any time to chat today but you know good luck so you see ladies the second response is more masculine and if you are a person who is still single or maybe you're dating or whatever but tapping into your feminine energy is going to serve you a lot better than it is when you are operating out of the masculine energy. Okay, my darling, so those are all the tips that I have to share with you in today's video. If you enjoyed them, please give this video a like, and also please feel free to share this video with anyone who you feel may benefit from the tips I've shared in today's video. And also ladies, if you're landing on my channel for the first time, my name is Teresa, and this channel is all about leveling up and becoming more elegant and more graceful. And if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing to this channel. And also, ladies, once you subscribe, please let me know in the comment section below so that I may personally welcome you to this channel. Thanks for watching, ladies, and I'll see you in the next one.